All right, Bears fans, I'll keep it simple. Do you want Caleb Williams or not? Type W for you do want him or type D for you don't want him because coming up, we're going to discuss a team that reportedly wants to move up and potentially draft him. I'm Harrison Graham, and today's episode of Bears Now is presented by Roan. Upgrade your wardrobe today with Roan. They've got the awesome commuter collection, which includes tons of different clothing items. Go to roan.com slash chat sports to get 20% off today. Code chat sports for that 20% off. All right, a major report has surfaced in the last half day or so, and that is that Sean Payton apparently is very intrigued by the idea of of trading up for one of these top quarterbacks. Denver, of course, is dealing with Russell Wilson drama. They're likely going to cut or trade him, probably have to cut him. Uh, and they own the 12th pick in the draft. So if they're going to get one of the top guys, they're definitely going to have to move up. Here's Tony Pauline on this report, NFL Insider. He says, Peyton was one of the top, or once one of the top passers, Caleb Williams, Drake May, or Jaden Daniels. I spoke at length about this with several people, including longtime Denver Broncos insider, Cecil Lamia, a radio and television personality from the city, as well as a writer at denversports.com. I was able to confirm the Broncos are interested in moving up for their quarterback of the future, yet such a move would come at an enormous cost, and it's unlikely to happen. So the report is that Peyton would like to get into the range for a Caleb Williams, a Drake May, or a Jaden Daniels, but it is obviously at least being acknowledged that getting up from 12 to 1 or even in the top 3 is not going to be easy. One, you have to find a team like the Bears that's willing to trade down. Two, you got to be willing to offer them enough capital to get up that far. Now, one thing that is pretty positively true is that Sean Payton loves Caleb Williams. Now, maybe something changed this year that would change his mind, but all the way back in late fall of 2022 when he was an NFL analyst with Fox Sports he hopped on Colin Cowherd's show and he basically said that they're going to have to change the NFL draft system because teams are going to be tanking for Caleb Williams so uh, so much he said oh, he's a generational player at some point we're going to move to a lottery system in the NFL draft this is a player that possibly does that aka leading NFL teams to tanking this player is the type of player that we would look back on in five years is why the lottery system exists now. I do believe Caleb Williams is going number one overall. I do believe that Sean Payton wants to reset at quarterback and would like to get his hands on this guy. The question is, A, are the Bears willing to trade down? Ryan Poles three weeks ago at his press conference said they're open to anything, but has that changed? It's hard to know. And B, does Denver have enough ammunition to even move up into range to possibly get him? We'll discuss all that here in just a moment, but I have a question for you guys. How long have you been a subscriber to us here at Bears? Now, if you can't remember like the year or the month or whatever, say, oh yeah, I was there at 20,000 subs or 3,000 or I just subscri subscribed last week, whatever the case may be. Let us know uh, how long you've been subbed. And if the answer is you're not subbed, hit that subscribe button. We're publishing daily content, the latest Bears news, rumors, Trade buzz, draft, free agency, we cover it all. Hit that sub button. Uh, okay, coming up next, what does a trade look like with the Denver Broncos? We'll cook up a few trade ideas, explore some of their top, top assets as well. But first, we want to talk a little bit more about Roan and their commuter collection. The men's closet was due for a radical reinvention, and Roan stepped up to the challenge. Their commuter collection is the most comfortable, breathable, and flexible set of products known to man and here is why. They help you get ready for any occasion uh, as they offer the world's most comfortable uh, pants, dress shirts, quarter zips, polos like the one I'm rocking today. Their four-way stretch fabric makes it very easy to be on the move. You can go play golf, go to a happy hour, uh, whatever the occasion. They've got you covered looking good, but most importantly, feeling good as well. And especially as I'm getting older, comfort is the most important thing, right? You want to feel good when you're at work. With Roan, I am. Go to Roan.com slash chat sports. Use code chat sports. Get 20% off. You also want to feel good in your pockets, your bank account. Guess what? You know what Roan does? Uh, machine washable. All these clothes are. You air dry them. You can uh, stop going to dry cleaners because of Roan. Check them out today. Roan.com slash chat sports. Code chat sports. Get you 20% off at checkout. Okay. You look at some of the Broncos top trade assets. Uh, if the Bears were to pull off a trade like this, 
Uh, Pat Sertan the second, that's the big one. Uh, Pauline mentioned in his reporting that uh, they would even maybe be considering to move him uh, if they could move up in a trade. Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, a couple of receivers. I don't think either is a true number one, but I think, you know, number two, number three types. Justin Simmons, a little bit older. Cap situation isn't great. It's kind of similar to Eddie Jackson, although I think Simmons is a bit better at this point in his career. Uh, Quinn Miners had a really good year at guard. Um, at the Senior Bowl when he was coming out, played a little bit at center, so maybe you could play him there. So those are a few uh, notable players that I would be interested in. Okay, trade idea number one, a pick-centric trade. Uh, this is very similar if you watch the Raiders video uh, in terms of compensation. They're picking one pick higher, so there's some differences. Plus, key difference is that the Broncos do not have a second-round pick. But this uh, trade package, three firsts, two seconds, just not the one this year. Uh, and uh, or I think, uh, sorry, two-thirds in next year's second is what it is uh, for the number one overall pick. And if you're saying, yeah, it's a lot, yeah, it's a lot. Again, I'm not convinced the Bears even want to move down. So if you're going to get them to move down, you're going to have to wow them uh, if you're a Broncos fan watching this video. So, um, yeah, I, I think if it's a pick-centric uh, centric deal, you're looking at three first uh, and multiple day two picks uh, to get up from 12 to number one. Okay, trade idea number two, Cortland Sutton, uh, three first-round picks and a third. So if you kind of like compare the first to a second trade, basically I'm saying Cortland Sutton's value comes out to a second and a third. And I, pro I might even be being a little bit generous there. Like Sutton's a nice player. He is, but he's not worth the first. Um, he hasn't had a 1,000-yard season in I think four years now. Uh, he's a good number two. He's got, uh, he's got a good body, uh, a bigger – guy you can play on the boundary he had a career high 10 touchdowns this year so that was good to see uh, I do think he would compliment DJ Moore pretty well DJ Moore kind of your yak god he can take the top off a little bit but he's a guy you get in space as well and he just makes things happen uh, you know Sutton those jump balls boundary type of stuff back shoulder he can make those plays red zone uh, I think he does fit as a uh, different type of weapon on this offense something that this team lacks but again I don't think it's worth a first round pick like if it's a Sutton-centric deal, I still think you're asking for three first-round picks. All right, who do you think the better receiver is? Because if I'm trading with Denver, I'd rather have Sutton than Judy just based on the current number one receiver you do have in DJ Moore. Type CS for Cortland Sutton, JJ for Jerry Judy. Let me know who you guys think is better. And then trade idea number three before we get to some other Bears news and notes. Uh, Pat Sertan, two firsts, two thirds. So, again, if you're comparing – I'm giving Pat Sertan kind of a lot of love here. I'm basically saying he's worth a first and a future second. It's like a first and a third um, if you're comparing it to Trey Idea number one, which is a lot. And Pat Sertan's very, very good. Um, the only problem is is the Bears don't really need a corner, right? Like if they just re-sign Jalen Johnson, who, by the way, was better than Sertan this year by any metric you can point to. You could, I, I would say Sertan's had a better career up to this point, but I think this year Johnson was better. But – why would you trade for Sutan when you can just sign Johnson, right? Like, you don't need to, like, sometimes it's better to just keep what you know in that regard. So it doesn't help Denver's cause that their top trade chip is at a position that the Bears probably need the least, unless they do decide to let Jalen go, which, again, I think makes no sense whatsoever. Worst case scenario, they would franchise tag and trade him. So, look, uh, I'll continue to say this. I'll continue to believe this. If the Bears decide to trade down, which, again, I'm not convinced they will, um, going outside of the top 10, it's just too far for me, man. Like, you're going to have to make an insane offer. Like, again, you go back to the Raiders. Like, it's going to have to be Crosby and major capital, man. Like, you're going to have to get that major type of offer, and I don't know if Denver's got that. Like, even the ones I mentioned, like three firsts and a couple thirds and Sutton or whatever it was, like, is that enough? Maybe? Um, I don't know. I, it's just like it, going from 1 to 12, it's not like you're going from 1 to 5 or something like that, so – it's a, it's a big uh, hill to uh, climb if you're a team outside the top 10 and probably too steep of one if we're being completely realistic. What will the Bears do with the number one pick, in your opinion? Not what you want, not what, uh, not what you think, what you – or yes, what you think. Like, just guess. Like, I know a lot of you want Justin Fields. I know a lot of you want Caleb Williams. What do you think is going to happen, though? Do you think they're going to keep it and draft the quarterback, or do you think they're going to trade the pick? K for keep, T for trade. Go ahead and let me know. All right, a couple other things I wanted to get into. Uh, Bears quarterback coach Kerry Joseph, we heard him talk to reporters for the first time down in Mobile. He is down there coaching one of the teams as the quarterback's coach and uh, was, of course, uh, asked a lot of Bears-related questions. And 
he was asked straight up, what do you want and what do you look for in a quarterback? And this is what he had to say. Arm talent, accuracy, delivery, quickness, physicality, toughness, swagger. You got to have a little swag playing the QB position. You got to have confidence. And I like to say arrogance. That sounds like Caleb Williams to me. Now, I think he's probably, for the most part, just speaking like generically, right? Like that's what he looks for in general. But Caleb kind of checks a lot of those boxes. Now, I think Justin checks a lot of them, but the quick release, not really. Um, like that's one thing that really stands out when you're comparing Justin and Caleb is Caleb's release is a lot faster and he on those quick throws can get the ball out quicker. He just does, uh, with his release and with the different arm angles and whatnot. So I don't know. I mean, it sounds like he's describing Caleb to me. I think he's probably speaking in generic terms, but Caleb kind of checks a lot of the boxes he said. So I found that very, very interesting. Uh, did want to mention this as well. This actually came in late last night after they hired Thomas Brown, as the uh, pass game coordinator, which again, if you missed that video, go check it out. I was fired up about that one. So if you want to go watch my raw reaction, uh, go subscribe and check out that video. But Chad Morton, the only coach I even think they interviewed, uh, uh, is the running backs coach. Uh, he's been with Seattle since 2014, the running backs coach since 2017. Um, comes over with Shane Waldron. So uh, that's not really a surprise. Uh, a lot of years in Seattle, the last three years. Uh, with Waldron in the last, what, six years as their running backs coach. So uh, certainly makes some sense there. We'll see if he gets a run game coordinator title. Uh, he had that title in Seattle the last couple of years. But, again, I don't think that's that's just kind of semantics at the end of the day. But, uh, again, with the addition of Thomas Brown, like, that, that's a big deal. So, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting uh, if you're trying to read the tea leaves of what they're thinking at the quarterback position. All right, guys, appreciate everybody for tuning in to Chicago Bears Now. My name is Harrison Graham. More videos to come. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys soon.